Hello everyone, I'm Milan Singh. Welcome you back again on this session and today I will be discussing with you the Kalchuri dynasty of Chhattisgarh, one of the very very important regional dynasties of Chhattisgarh from which you can definitely expect questions in your examination whether it is CGPSC preliminary examination or mains examination or any other examination which is being conducted by Chhattisgarh government. Now, before I begin, I would like to tell you that we are providing full GS course of CGPSC along with Chhattisgarh special. You just have to do is, you have to go to the Google Play Store and you have to download an app with the name Purvanchal IES. Once you have downloaded it, you can actually see different courses available in that particular app. Like apart from CG, we have the courses for UPSC, UPPSC. Madhya Pradesh PSC, NCRT, etc. So you can actually choose the courses as per your requirement. Technology, Polity Governance, Geography, Disaster Management, Social Issues, Ethics, International Relations and Internal Securities. Now let's get started with the Kalchuri Dynasty. Before I come to the Kalchuri Dynasty that existed in Chhattisgarh state, I would like to here tell you that Kalchuri actually had their presence in the Tripuri area also. This Tripuri is an area in Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. So, Kalchuri dynasty basically existed there. And this is basically the list of rulers that you can keep in mind. They are not really exactly related with the Kalchuris of Chhattisgarh. But then yes, they have certain relation because the person who established Kalchuri rule in Chhattisgarh is the son of this Lakshman Raj. So you can keep that in mind that first person who established this Tripuri branch of Kalchuri was a Krishna Raj and so on it began. After Krishna, uh, Krishna Raj we have Sankargar 1, we have Buddha Raj first, we have Vamdev, then we have Lakshman Raj, it was Kokla. Then we have Shankargar 2nd and here we have Lakshman Gar and Kalinga Raj. Okay? Now coming to the branch of Chhattisgarh, the Kalchuri branch of Chhattisgarh, specifically the Ratanpur dynasty. I am talking about Kalchuri is being present in the Ratanpur, and here we find the mention of Kalingraj. Here in the segregation, I have written here Kalingraj. He is actually the son of this Lakshman Raj, and he is the one who established the dynasty of Kalchuri here in Chhattisgarh. Here you can see. Now for him we find a copper plate inscription or a writing from Amora from where we get to know it is the writing of uh, Prithvidev 1 and it is said that he was the real founder of Ratanpur Kalchuri dynasty who made Tumman that is Korba at his like his capital and he also got the Mahamaya temple of Chitorgarh built. So basically the construction of Mahamaya temple Chitorgarh took place at the time of Kalingraj and he was the one who actually got this built. After Kaling Raj came Kamal Raj. Kamal Raj was the son and successor of Kaling Raj. And during his period, one of the ruler, that is Ganga Dev, he came or basically he attacked Utkal, that is Odisha, the time of ancient Odisha was known as Utkal. So this ruler Ganga, now, uh, Ganga Dev attacked Utkal and Kamal Raj's army actually supported this Ganga Dev on his campaign to towards Utkal. But then unfortunately Ganga Dev was defeated. Anyways, but during the returning from there, like returning from Urisha, Kamal Raj brought with him Sahila. Sahila was a brave man and he was, uh, he came with Kamal Raj during the Utkal campaign. And later on this Sahila actually helped Kamal Raj in the expansion of his ruling region or basically in expanding the extent of Kalchuri dynasty. Okay. After that, it came Ratandev 1, who is also known as Ratan Raj. He was the son and successor of Kamal Raj. And he transferred the capital from Tumman to Ratanpur. So, initially when they built, the capital was Tumman. And here I would like to remind you that when I was teaching you in the regional dynasty, I talked about one of the dynasty whose name is Ban dynasty. When I taught you the part 2 of regional dynasties of Chhattisgarh, we discussed about Ban dynasty. And Ban dynasty was located in Pali, Korba. Okay, they were ruling in the 9th century BC. 9th century. And 
during that time this kokala from kalchuri tripuri branch of kalchuri attacked ban dynasty and defeated them and he established its rule and made tumman as the capital and since then tumman became the capital of kalchuri in chatisgarh and this was what being taken forward with kalingraj also he also made tumman as his capital okay and then it was ratan dev or ratan raj who made ratanpur as the capital or shifted the capital of kalchuri branch from tumman to ratanpur please remember this tumman is in korba pali also was in korba during the ancient time and it has in the relation with the ban dynasty okay in the ratanpur also we have a mahamaya temple see this mahamaya temple is different of chitorgarh which was built by kalingraj in ratanpur also we have one of the mahamaya temple and there we have almost 109 ponds dug in ratanpur this was all done by this ratan raj you can associate with the name this ratan dev actually made ratanpur their capital also known as ratan raj and he built mahamaya temple there he also got 109 ponds dug and that is why ratanpur is also known as city of ponds so if you get the information the question that uh, which is the city of the ponds in chatisgarh it is ratanpur it is not that ponds powder it is basically the ponds being built okay then you have prithvi dev 1 now uh, prithvi dev 1 is the son and successor of ratan dev 1 and he got the title of sakal kausal adhipati because it is said that he was the owner of 21000 villages it is being mentioned in the amor uh, amoda copper plate ye the amoda copper plate inscription is of prithvi dev 1 like here also we have seen that from amoda copper plate of prithvi dev 1 we get to know that kaling raj was the real founder so this is the prithvi dev 1 who has this amoda copper plate writing and there it is mentioned that he has the title of uh, sakal kausal adhipati owner of 21000 villages okay he also got one of the temple built at tumman theek okay? hai this temple is at tumman which is known as prithvi deveshwar singh temple this he got built in the tumman korba and he also got a huge pond built in ratanpur so both of the area he did something in the art and architecture part so whatever records we have for prithvi dev 1 we have it from amoda we have from raipur and we also have something from lafagad after this came jajalya dev uh, i talked about jajalya dev when i was discussing with you the chindak nag dynasty of bastar in my uh, part 2 video of regional dynasty we have discussed this why i will come to it now he was the son and successor of a prithvi dev 1 and he established a city named as jajalyapur at that time which is now known as chanjgi okay he was the one who populated the city with the names only you can remember jajalya dev jajalpur and that is chanjgi then he got shiva temple of pali renovated now pali is korba when i was teaching you ban dynasty i told you one of the ruler of ban dynasty vikramadit built this shiva temple at pali okay and then this was renovated by whom it was renovated by jajalya dev one of kalchuri branch of ratanpur dynasty then he rejected the authority puri is the one from where kalchuri dynasty actually started i told you in the beginning but then uh, these rulers made their presence in chatisgarh area tripura is somewhere near jabalpur and they the these people made their presence in the ratanpur uh, area of chatisgarh and jajalya dev actually rejected the authority of tripura because during the time of jajalya dev his contemporary tripura ruler are sought to have weak or they were not so strong to keep the things intact or anything of that sort and that is why jajalya dev rejected their authority he also issued coins of golds and copper and in his coins there were some titles and some of the things engraved like the title of uh, shrima jajal dev that is his own name and also vishi gaja shardul on his gold coin so this is the title that he took gaja shardul please remember and this was being engraved or written in the gold coins of jajalya dev now coming to this point that i have taught you during the chindaknag dynasty also that he de defeated someshwar dev one of chindaknag dynasty okay and he also defeated bhujabal the ruler of orissa this bhujabal is actually the som ruler of orissa or pandu dynasty of orissa which i taught you in the previous lecture 
and uh, someshwar dev one was a very important ruler of the chindaknag dynasty but he got defeated from jajalya dev and actually jajalya dev arrested him you know when he defeated someshwar dev he arrested him i told you that time also and kept him in jail but then the mother of someshwar dev gunda mahadevi the name of uh, his mother mother of someshwar dev gunda mahadevi requested jajalya dev to release someshwar dev and he did so please remember this and he had several other victory victory campaigns also where he won a lot of things like there are there is ratarpur inscription about jajalya dev which talks about his victory campaigns at different different places so he defeated the rulers of vyagra this is this is basically uh, badargarh maharashtra lanjika lanjika is balaghat madhya pradesh it was the older name then bhandar then talpari talpari is said to be the area of malhar bilaspur uh dandakpur situated in bengal so likewise he defeated many of the rulers of many places and rulers of nandavali and kukut accepted his dominance and they paid him tax please remember that now coming to ratandev 2 second ratandev second or sir of chajalya dev we have his copper inscription from many places so obviously we get information about him from many places that he was one of the ruler of uh, kalchuri ratanpur branch so we have his copper inscriptions from akaltara kharod which is in jangir chapa paragao shivri narayan and sarkhon and he basically defeated one of the kalchuri king of tripuri gayakarna was one of the king of tripuri branch of kalchuri who got defeated by ratandev Apart from this, Ratan Dev too also defeated one of the ruler from Odisha, that is Anant Varman. So he defeated two of these a ruler, and he was a patron of art, and he got many temples and uh, ponds built in the Ratanpur city. Then came Prithvi Dev II. He was the successor of this Ratan Dev. He had the biggest empire in his time because till the time he came into range. the uh, extent of this dynasty was really really vast so he was handling the biggest empire of all the times okay and we have found many of the records for this prithvi dev too and he issued smallest coin of silver that means the most smallest coins of silvers are being issued by whom it is by prithvi dev second there was a minister and commander of chief of this prithvi uh, dev too known as jagpal this jagpal dev renovated the rajiv lochan temple okay he renovated the rajiv lochan temple and he also expanded the region by defeating the rulers of sarangar kakarya that is kanker and bhaskar which is bastar prithvi dev too attacked on chakrakot and destroyed it okay please remember that once the king anant varman frightened from him and fled away and then uh, he sent nobles so basically he was a very noble person and he also started building temples and ponds so you can say that kalchuri had a flourishing art and architecture at the same time the rulers of kalchuri dynasty of ratanpur branch in the beginning were very strong they laid many expedition and they defeated many of the rulers their extent was also very good Now this is Jajalya Dev second. For Jajalya Dev second, we have certain records from Shivri Narayan, from where we get the record. The ruler of Tripuri attacked on him. Okay, there was a battle which took place between this Jajalya Dev two and Tripuri Kalchuri ruler Jay Singh, in which Jay Singh was defeated and Jay Singh had to run away. So you can see that these two are the branches of the same dynasty, the Kalchuri. The only difference is that they were the Kalchuri of. Uh, Tripuri and these were the culturies of Ratanpur, but yet there was some battle which used to go on within the dynasty itself. Then you have Jagdev. Now, when this uh, Jajalya Dev died, there was a chaos in the state because uh, the, the, there was a disorder in the state at the time of his death, and uh, Jagdev actually during that time was struggling. Uh, actually, was uh, struggling uh, in one of the expedition with one of the gang king. Okay, so once he got the news of death of his elder brother Jajalya Dev, he actually left this expedition and all, and he came back to Ratanpur and took the condition in his hand, and then he he was able to keep the Kalchuri dynasty intact. But then later on, 
uh, Ratnadev III came. So uh, basically, he was the son of Chakdev and Queen Samalia. We have the information about him from Kharod inscription. Kharod is a place in Janaki Chapa. During his time, also there was a condition of chaos happening in the dynasty or in the region of uh, the state. And to tackle this, he actually appointed a Brahmin prime minister who was known as Gangadhar. And Gangadhar actually successfully handled the situation of chaos and everything was uh, made better again. And this Gangadhar got Lakshaneshwar temple of Kharod renovated. And he also built Ekvira Devi there itself. Okay. This Pratap Mala is one more important ruler. We have his uh, three copper plate writings from different places that we have found. For him, we have also found wheel types and hexagon type copper coins. So, please remember the shape of his cover, hexagon types also. And we had the images of lion and dagger being engraved there. There is a Borea sculpture script that we have found near Kavarda district, a recent Kavar, uh, Kabir Dham. And it has been described that Jairaj and Yashoni were his nobles. So, you, remember, you can remember the name who were his nobles. Now, this is an important thing for you to note down here is that after Pratap Mala's death, we do not find any record of this dynasty for almost 300 years. And this period of 300 years, which we do not find any record, is known as Dark Age. Dark Age of Kalchuri Dynasty. And the question has also been asked that, why is it called the Dark Age of Kalchuri? The basic reason of it being called as a Dark Age, because we do not have any written records, not any scriptures found, not any evidences. So, in the absence of any type of evidences, we do not know what actually happened for the period of these 300 years. Whatever record we get is after 300 years and that we find from, from an area called as Kosgai. And in Kosgai, we get the uh, description about another ruler that is Baharendra Sai. But between Pratap Mala and Beherendra Sai, there is a difference of 300 years and we do not know what really happened at that time period. Ta talking about now Beherendra Sai, we have found record about him from Ratanpur, from Kuskai. Both of the places we have certain records. And he did one thing, that is he transferred the capital from Ratanpur to Kosganga. Kosganga is present Shuri somewhere near Korba and he also shifted his treasury in Kos Ganga in terms of safety. He got temple of Kos Gai built, Kos Gai Mata temple is there which is built by Bahrendra Sai. It is said that during his reign, Pathans attacked here but then he was very successful in making them flee away from the situation or basically he was successful in uh, making them go away from this area. Then came Kalyan Sai. Kalyan Sai basically is the contemporary of Mughal Emperor Akbar and that's why he becomes very important because he is on the one hand contemporary of Mughal Emperor Akbar and at the same time he has spent almost 8 years in the court of Akbar. It is being mentioned in Tuzuke Jahangir. Tuzuke Jahangir is the autobiography of Jahangir and it is being mentioned that Kalyan Sai was present in the court of Akbar. Now, Jamabandi was a revenue system uh, which was very much prevalent and it was prevalent even before the time of Emperor Akbar. It was prevalent in the Kalchuri and Akbar also followed it. Please remember that in 1868 AD, Mr. Chujm, he was the first settlement officer of Bilaspur. He has highlighted the administrative system of Kalchuri based on Jamabandi system and then based on Jamabandi system, he actually divided uh, Chhattisgarh into what is called as 36 ports. Chhattisgarh ka real thing, 36 ports. It got divided by Mr. Chijm. Okay. And during the period of Kalyan Sai, we get to know that the annual income of the whole state was somewhere around 6.5 lakh rupees. Another ruler is Takhat Singh. He was the contemporary of Aurangzeb and he established a city named Takhatpur and populated it. Not much is known about him apart from these things. Then there is Raj Singh. Raj Singh was the successor of Takkat Singh and also the contemporary of Aurangzeb. So during the Aurangzeb time, we have two contemporary rulers. One was Takkat Singh and then Raj Singh of the Kalchuri. A famous, famous poet, Gopal Chandra Mishra, 
वॉज अ पोएट ऑफ हिज कोर्ट कोर्ट ऑफ राज सिंह वाई इज गोपाल चंद्र मिश्र सो इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज ही रोट अ फेमस बुक नोन एज खूब तमाशा अ लोड ऑफ टाइम इट हैज बीन आज इन योर एग्जाम एंड इन हिज बुक खूब तमाशा ही हैज क्रिटिसाइज द पॉलिसीज ऑफ मुगल एम्पायर औरंगजेब सो एंड ही वॉज द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू यूज छत्तीसगढ़ फॉर दिस रीजन सो इन रिटर्न द पर्सन हु हैज यूज द टर्म छत्तीसगढ़ फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन इज नोन एज गोपाल चंद्र मिश्र हु वॉज द कोर्ट पोएट ऑफ द रॉयल कोर्ट ऑफ राज सिंह कल्चुरी रूलर दिस किंग राज सिंह गॉड बिल्ट बादल महल इन रतनपुर इन द मेमोरी ऑफ हिज वाइफ कजरा देवी He was childless, so basically he adopted Mohan Singh and declared him as successor. But then, when uh, Raj Singh was dying uh, due to his ill health, Mohan Singh was not present at that time because Mohan Singh, it is said that he has gone for hunting and it was not possible for him to return back. So, in order to avoid the situation of that chaos in the state, Raj Singh made his uncle as his successor. So he put his turban on his uncle, and ultimately his uh, uncle Sardar Singh became the successor. Sardar Singh almost ruled for 20 years but there is no significant event that seems to have come up during the reign of uh, Sardar Singh and he was also childless so he made his brother Raghunath Singh as the successor so next came into throne is Raghunath Singh see when Raghunath Singh came into throne he was almost 60 years old and it is it was the time that he was very much old and uh, not very much uh, strong enough to handle the things and he was the last independent ruler of kalchuri dynasty why am i saying this because during the time of ragunath he was already 60 year old and quite weak in 1741 bhaskar pant one of the commander in chief of maratha ruler raguji one attacked ratanpur so from here started the maratha invasion and because of this attack things got changed why they got changed because at the time when bhaskar pant attacked ratanpur ragunath was undergoing a grief why grief because ratan ratan singh had lost his son or you can say his son died and ragunath singh was already in that state of emotional grief and he was unable to fight with Bas, bhaskar pant during that state so what he did is he accepted the rule of marathas and that is why without any you know battle or anything bhaskar pant returned back because ragunath willingly accepted their dominance and he accepted to be a representative ruler of bhosle king raguji 1 and he ruled till 1745 ad and then died in the same year and then became mohan singh the king you remember mohan singh Uh, was being adopted by raj singh so he became the king after the death of raghunath singh and uh, uh, he was basically a representative king of marathas because obviously during this time raghunath had already accepted their dominance and there was no other thing to be taken care and mohan singh basically was the representative so that is why the last independent ruler of the kalchuri of ratanpur becomes raghunath singh now Uh, this was all about the rulers what we need to understand is what was the system the administrative system of kalchuris because whether you see any dynasty you have to understand it through many areas what was the administrative culture was what was the social condition development etc so when we talk about administrative system it was a monarchy system where king was the head all of us know but then there is one thing there is one difference that the king had council of ministers same in the gupta empire i think chanakya niti is also there they they were monarchy the king was the supreme but then he had council of ministers in order to take certain decision or in order to discuss what is going on in the state and likewise here also in kalchuris although the king was supreme but he had council of ministers and here there are the names that you need to remember mahamantri was the prime minister mahasandhi vigrahaka was the foreign minister Mahadharma Adhikmik or the Mahapurohit was the religion department head. Mahapramantri was the head of Jama Bandi, the revenue system. Mahakshapatlik was revenue official, and Mahapratihar was the bodyguard of the king. So they were almost six in number. we also have the names for different different departments now we categorize it as departments so at that time also there were departments like foreign department was known as sandhi vigrah dikarna system which i talked about 
it has its name as mahapramatri then there was mahapurohit this was the religious department we had police department where the head was dandapakshaka we had two other officials also in order to handle this police thing judicial system was dandika we had department of war and defense foreign department was different we had war and defense department also like sandika and mahaganpati was the uh, name transport department was also present and it was known as gamagamika i uh, tell you that you need to learn all of these name because it is being asked in the exam that this is the name for which department or this department belongs to which dynasty what is the name of judicial system in the kalchuri rule etc so you have to remember this now the administrative units of the state like the whole state was divided into certain parts obviously with division only we can have better administration state was the backbone and head was the king this state was further divided into mandal and who was the head of the mandal mandalik or mandaleshwar further this mandal was divided into ghar and the head of the ghar was divan it is said that one ghar had 84 villages within it and that is why it is also known as ghar chaurasi so within one ghar there were 84 villages now this ghar was also further divided which was named as baraho and the head of the baraho was dau and in baraho in one baraho there were 12 villages so see one ghar had 84 villages and then 12 villages of them cause called to be made as a baraho and in the baraho also there was further division that was gram the last unit and the smallest unit and the head of this gram was gotia please remember these administrative units also how about local administration that we have seen the administration of state but then we have to have something in the local the regional aspect or the district aspect so there was a committee committee system was there and there was a committee known as panchkul the head of the committee was mahatam and the members were known as mahatar okay now this committee has certain officials there were six main state officials and then other officials also to take care of the administration this local administration who were these six main state officials chief police officer patel tehsildar karnik karnik was the writer shulk grah he collected the small tax then pratihari the soldier they were the six main state officials under panchkul committee but then apart from these we also had a few other officials like pur pradhan this pur pradhan was the official of the city the main of a particular city then there was gram kuta or gram bhojaka he was the official head of the village okay village head still we have gram bhojaka at times then you have sholkika he was the collector of taxes we have dand pashika he was the collector of penalty whatever dand was given or the penalty was there he used to collect that now talking about the social condition of kalchuris see varna system was very much prevalent like the brahmin kshatriya kayast shudra were there kayast caste has been mentioned as karnika okay please remember joint family system was prevalent it is said so women enjoyed respect respectful position i mean their decision was taken into consideration and even in the administration time there were few women who were called and asked about the administration of the state but then one thing to note is sati system was very much prevalent which is also being mentioned in shivri narayan inscription that yes sati was prevalent during the time of kalchuris okay but overall the social condition was very good and if, when you when we say that women enjoyed respectful position there is one evidence which is also given that jajalya dev defeated someshwar dev one i hope you remember and he arrested also but then someshwar dev's mother gunda dev requested him not to arrest and release and on that request jajalya dev released someshwar one so automatically it seems that they did respected women coming to the economic conditions during the culture they were very prosperous economically there were various types of tax being collected the main source of income for them was the land tax but apart from land tax they have river ghat tax they also had sales tax they had tax on different different goods like even if there is a different good being produced they had the revenue system like current which was also followed by akbar later on the jama mandi system is being something so economically they were very very prosperous 
As far as the education is concerned, so we get certain records from places such as Ratanpur, Sirpur, Malhar, Arang, Raipur and Rajim that they were most important education centers and they had different teachings being done for the subjects like mathematics, science etc. So education wise also Kalchuri dynasty seems to have very prosperous time. So Kalchuri of Ratanpur has been one of the very very important dynasties of Chhattisgarh. So please make sure that you keep your preparation proper for this dynasty. Once again, you can take help of our Purvanchal IES, go to the app and access the course that you want to. Meanwhile, we will be also providing you with each and everything that you require. Thank you so much.